Almost everyone has a special family tradition they follow for weddings of loved ones. Some may be special to your specific family, or some may be cultural born. Looking into various forms of cultural traditions followed across the world, we can see the diversity revealed through the event of matrimony. The cultural traditions I am personally most familiar with is Mexican marriage ceremony. Being previously married in a modern take on Mexico's traditional ceremony, I found myself in a bit of cultural shock from what I had already knew about Mexican culture. Mexican ceremonies have several special traditions they follow, most notable being their preference for the bride to wear a mantilla veil. There are many styles of dress which are commonly worn throughout the various Mexican states. Traditional spicy food with chicken or beef are served at the reception along with sangria as a party drink. Common traditions held at the wedding and ceremony include mariachi bands, sponsored godparents, which pay for part of the expenses, as well as 13 gold coins known as the aria, which are given to the bride by the groom to represent various pledges to his bride. In quite a bit of similarity to Mexican traditions, Greek traditions are also fairly festive. Greeks believe if you are married within the months of January or June, you will be in the favor of the Greek goddess Hera. Traditional veils worn were in yellow or red to represent fire to protect the bride from dark spirits. Though many modern Greek weddings today wear white veils for purity in the traditional weddings, the flowers carried by the bride are instead white to represent purity of the bride. At the reception, it is common for the bride and groom to give out kofeta, or Jordan sugar almonds, as party favors, to represent a happy, sweet life in marriage. Much like in Mexico, Greece also follows the tradition of godparent sponsors. The grandest and most important tradition of Greek weddings would have to be the Stefana, or matrimonial crown, worn by the bride and are required by the church for ceremonies. In stark contrast to Mexican and Greek festivities, Japanese formal ceremonies are fairly private with only close family and limited number of close friends in attendance. They are held at Shinto shrine and hosted by a Shinto priest. The most common tradition in Shinto style ceremonies are the nuptial cups, known as san san kudo, consuming sake from three different styles of cups by the bride and groom, as well as each set of parents. Commonly when approaching or entering the ceremony shrine, the bride and groom will walk beneath a bangasa, which is a simple oil paper umbrella. The numerous rituals of Japanese Shinto traditions are so great and so diverse there are too many to list fully in a single presentation. Much like in common tradition in the United States, Irish tradition of rings being passed down from the mother is common. The clata ring is a simple ring which has a crown atop a heart and must be given as a gift. A tradition for the groom in Ireland was common to lock the door of the church to prevent the groom from running away from the altar. The most common form of veil for an Irish wedding is made of Irish lace and follows the color schemes of white, gold, and green. There are quite a few traditions of bagpipes, kilts, and large feasts with wedding toasts to follow the ceremony of bonding. Comparing these various countries, it's easy to see how similar and how vastly different weddings are across the world. If you'd like to read more in depth about each of the countries, I have supplied quite a bit of information on each page for you to go back and mute the video to read through the information provided on the other traditions of each country I have covered.